And we're back. Yes. Welcome to the Willis Gym Build a Booty program where I'm not just the president. I'm also a client. Yes, yes, yes. That's the 48-year-old ass on a white man. And one of the ways I'm keeping it nice and round and working on getting rid of the love handles and making my abs shredded is by standing in impatient woman. And um, I teach this to the women who come to my gym and it makes a huge difference. I'll explain a little bit. We've got flow coming back from the lower body that primarily, almost all of it, goes through the glutes and up into the center of the lower back. And that's those fatty tubes that you see in the center. That's returning from the lower body. And then you've got the love handles that follow that tube that comes down, and you can see it that come around this way. And both of those join in here and are supposed to be going back to the core whenever you do stuff. And African women carry a baby back there. Papua New Guinea, they carry bags back there. All the weight of everything in this area pushes. And one pose, the elderly woman pose, is just to put your hands together like that and lean on it. And like this, you'll see elder, elder women doing this without a baby, leaning to keep that flow going. And we'll do that more too. That's a, a really wonderful way for back pain. But getting back to the booty, these flows congeal here because this area is cool and you've got this saline fat component and when it's warm is when we can manipulate it. Now if you've got dark skin, you can go out in the sun, if you're in the sun, warm up and you can do these poses. If you're in the north or you have light skin or you just don't want to go out in the sun, you can use a heat pad. And what you're going to want to do is take a heat pad and hold it in your lower back, maybe hold it on your love handles. But here's the deal. This is the impatient woman stance. It consists of using these as little scrapers to squeeze down and squeeze it right into the buttocks. And then you come around the front and you squeeze down this way and you activate these two drains. So to repeat, impatient woman. Maybe even get that leg going. You see how it's bringing the glutes on line. In fact, mine just immediately starts going when I do that. Squeeze down, you're putting it all into the glutes, and then turn around like this, and whew. Now, what you're doing is you're squeezing through a fibrous mass of this grease that's congealed in the skin sheath, returns here, and you're pushing it down so that it can be used by these muscles. Now, one little area can build up a bit of trouble. In here, you're gonna to wanna to really make sure you push down into those drains and get it going flowing. And you can get a little bit of a buildup of fluid here, which requires kind of a spank up. That's where the slap on the butt comes from, from the baseball players, because they're not allowed to do this out there, out in the field. But if you do that, you'll get that going, and then that kind of thing to get it going back up. But again, impatient woman is squeezing it down. And oh, so, the saturated fat component of your lymph when it's returning, coming back up, is melted and it's warm. And again, if you use the heat pad or outside to speed up and get it even warmer, that's what you're doing is you're going to squeeze it down and you can get the fat part to actually congeal down in this area. But the other thing that you're doing is you're manipulating the flow of your lymph because anytime you do anything in the hydronic system down here, you manipulate other parts of your body. And you'll notice that this is the kind of stance that kind of gets things done. And it's one of those examples of how manually taking control of your lymph and making the flow happen the way you want, like I've talked about with this, the talk about like this, this affects a certain part of your brain that actually kind of gets you going, gets you up, and gets you motivated. And in my theory, the woman who does this probably makes herself that nice round booty that maybe inspires um, maybe men to get up and get some stuff done too. You can just imagine a primitive version of us standing around the campfire like this. Um, yeah, this shit isn't going to do, right? So again, give it a try. See what you think. And um, let me know. Thanks for watching. GoPro, stop recording.